Hi, this is Chase Carter, and I am here with an RA named Brian, and I'm here to teach him about conformity and demons. So basically, uh, what conformity is, is that we tend to have this belief where we just tend to do things that mainly society tells us to do all the time, or things that we always see as a perspective to do pretty much anything everybody else does. And I think it mainly is a belief where all of us tend to believe that because of this, we think we should do all this and we shouldn't do anything different. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we always don't question anything. We always just go with the status quo of thinking, oh, we should not have any different opinions. We should just do what everybody else does. And if something else is different, then just leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions about that? Yeah. Where, uh, where do you usually see that? Do you see that on campus? Do you see that just kind of everywhere? Where do you usually... Where do you usually see that? We tend to see a lot, especially in social social areas, where pretty much um, if there's a big well-known person, we all just know that if somebody is there, we just tend to give them as much as attention as we do. And we're not saying it has to be anything bad where we give someone that does good things attention. It's just sometimes not everybody is going to have a similar interest. Right. Everybody is going to always think differently and everybody's always going to think that we should do this for everybody, but everybody's not gonna always approve of that person all the time. Yeah, no, I didn't think it answered my question. Do you think there, do you think, um, I'll ask you, Brian, do you think there is anything else that with conformity is something that we should break or is it something that should still be kept in our society? I think we should watch kind of what you're saying. I think we should watch our role models. I think it's important that we think about, like you said, conformity, you think of the word conform, uh, you know, if we're conforming to what one person is saying, but maybe they're a bad influence or they're kind of leading people in the wrong spot, I kind of think we got to watch what people we follow, like on Instagram or like what music we listen to. We got to make sure we're listening to positive stuff, stuff that helps other people, not something that's angry or depressing. Yeah. That's kind of what I think. I think we should conform to good things. I can, I can see that. I can see that perspective. I mean, for me, I always see conformity as, um, yeah, always having to do everything everybody else does. But I think with that, I think it just shows that if we do that, not everybody is going to be unique. Everybody is not going to have any different perspective. Right. And I think with that, I think it is necessary that, yes, people can have attention and do things that anybody else could do. But that doesn't mean everybody should because then there would be no differences. Yeah. There would no there would be no different opinion. There would be no other type of perspective from other people. Yeah. Absolutely. No, that's a great perspective. What do you mean by deviance? Do you think with deviance, do you think it is a, a thing where we tend to also be different from every everybody else? Do you think um, it is necessary that everybody doesn't always fit in with everybody else's uh, opinion where they feel like they have to be in this uh, center because that's where they were brought up to be. Do you think it's uh, necessary where somebody could at least rebel against something that they had to grow up with or they were thought to be put up with or they were brought up with all the time? So that's deviance. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think deviance can be good. I also think sometimes it can be bad. I, you know, I think it's okay to be different um, in a lot of ways and it's important that we're all different, but also I think sometimes it's okay to be similar to things, you know? Sometimes conformity can be good. I just think when that is too far, that's when conformity is bad. So I think the same goes for deviance. I think, I think if we're trying to be too different from everyone else, it isolates us, you know? It's important that we have a support system. And so I think it's important to be different. Remember that we're all different, um, but also it's okay to sometimes be similar. For example, uh, if a family grows up who is very Christian and one one kid out of probably five of them does not does not uh, go along with that and tends to go his own way, do you think that is a good thing or is it a bad thing depending on how he uses his difference? I think I think it's up to him. I think um, it's it's you know it's up to him whether or not it's a good thing or not. I think what's most important is that the family. Is accepting of it um, you know because there's going to be deviance there's going to be times where he's not going to conform with his traditional family values and so I think um, if he's going to be different the family should say okay that's your choice we don't agree with it but it's okay that you're different you know what I mean so yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily wrong that he would do that. That's up to him. So. Do you also think it is also due when it comes to deviance from a lot of other people? Do you think it also could lead to something negative happening, though? Mm -hmm. Because there have been stories where somebody has done something against either what society says or what their own br uh, bring up or uh, their own family decided to teach them. Do you think there could be bad consequences when it comes to deviance? It depends on what it is. I think if you're deviating away from something good or something that benefits other people, then it's probably more like that. Or if you're deviating from something essential or something you need, um, then that's where that comes into play of that's, that's not good. But if, let's say, um, like uh, your family has owned a restaurant for many years and um, you want all your kids to work for you and then they're gonna own the business and stuff but one of them says no I want to go on a jewelry shop I think that's okay that's a good deviance but you know if someone deviates away from his family even though he needs them then that's then that's a bad deviance you see what I mean does that kind of answer that uh yeah it actually it actually does I mean with deviance difference is something that is needed because mm -hmm. if everybody stays the same then nobody nobody's gonna be different everybody will think the same and we all will all have this perspective literally the same as er as everybody else and everything there would literally be no change and the thing is people think that's a good thing because then there just wouldn't be no arguments but i think a th the issue with that is is there was someday would be somebody who would think out of the box and not think the same and because of that it caught it will cause problems and because of differences and then after somebody finally breaks a chain then it will cause an issue and it could cause even war. Yeah. And because of that, do you think, uh, yeah, of course with difference, you need it. And with some form of deviance, yeah, it is also needed too. But do you think with both, both of them, could they actually get along with each other where people could understand either side or the other side, even if they don't both don't agree with each other, if that makes any sense? Absolutely, yeah. I think we can agree to disagree, I think. And sometimes, you know, you can change your mind on things and stuff like that. Um, and, and war is a huge example of that. But like, yeah, no, absolutely. I think even, even after deviance or conformities going on, you know, I do think that people can change and people can change their minds, but also that when people don't want to change their minds and they're fighting, they can agree to disagree. And, and like you're saying, it's okay to accept being different. And especially, um, one thing I do want to conclude with this is that right now with conformity and deviance is politics. Mm -hmm. It's become a huge thing with, in the huge yeah. thing in the past 10 years, especially with the people who are running, even some who I support, mm -hmm. but I will not change my mind. But still, they're going to be, they're especially is going to forever, it's going to be division with politics and with so social problems and with religion. Um, do you think when it comes to uh, something political, do you think there is a, there is a limit to conformity or deviance. Mm. Uh, I don't know if there. I don't know if there is a limit. I've never really thought about that before. But um, I know I know that deviancy and conformity can can be extreme. Like like especially in politics, deviancy is very extreme. Everyone wants to be very different. You're either a Republican or you're a Democrat, and they're very different. And you can only pick one or the other. And they're you know what I mean and you know, sometimes some people have some conservative views and some liberal views. And so, you know, I think, I think we have to be careful that we're not too extreme. So, yeah. And you think it's better to be an open-minded person mm. to actually at least understand someone who tends to be more conformative and at least understand somebody who is a little more devious. Absolutely. To be open-minded. Yes. The final question is, do you think there will ever be uh, fixed for conformity or deviance of anything? Do you think it could actually be uh, fixed just by having us understand and by just having understand any difference? Do you think it could truly be fixed? I, I don't think we'll ever get rid of it because it's hard to get everyone to agree on something. And But I think it's possible. I think if we worked very hard, and I think it's possible. But I think sometimes sometimes we need deviancy sometimes we need conformity um, because like you were saying earlier it's okay to be different but um, so my answer is mixed I I think it's possible I don't think it ever will happen but 
Yeah. But you think it at least, it, you know it will stay forever, but you do know there's still people who will make a difference and who will make yes, a change. Yes, absolutely. People can make a change. I can definitely see that. All right, that's it. But hey, awesome. thanks, Brian, for this thanks, little Chase. interview. This I just was great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is awesome.